Who are you and what's your game? Excellent choice. Hope to see you again. If it isn't my dear old chum, Mr. Disraeli. Now, Prime Minister, which of your friends is about to stab you in the back? The Corrupt Practices Bill is a vital step in reforming our government. If the majority party is allowed to dictate the results of contested elections, we can scarcely call ourselves free. If we yield up our rights bit by bit to the courts, we can scarcely call ourselves Great free, Martha. sir. Stop this! this. You, Gladstone. You would rob. Well, if it isn't my dear old chum, Mr. Disraeli. Now, Prime Minister, which of your friends is about to stab you in the back? The Corrupt Practices Bill is a vital step in reforming our government. If the majority party is allowed to dictate the results of contested elections, we can scarcely call ourselves free. If we yield up our rights bit by bit to the courts, we can scarcely call ourselves free, sir. This is so like you, Gladstone. You would rather throw your body oh, upon the yes. gears of progress Bravo. than surrender one oh, iota of power. By God, Disraeli, you are that a fool. Is precisely the word that I used to I'll not stand idly by and watch you drag parliamentary now, privilege through the muck. The parliament would only no, certainly not. You'd Jesus. rather return us Perhaps to the yoke of tyranny. Perhaps while we're at I'm it, Mr. Gladstone, we, we could repeal Magna Carta and return the crown to the bloody studs! How dare you, sir? Merely because I do not wish to see government placed in the hands of judges, you would make these slanderous accusations? I'll not stand for it! 
Then I shall obviate the requirement. Good evening, sir. I presume. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. B. B. My name's Herbert. Then why are you following the Prime Minister? It's just a job, sir! Some old bloke paid me to... Smug bastard. Well, I was born in Crawley, but that's by the by. Who are you working for? Oh, I never got his name. Uh, old chap, big moustache, wore some kind of uniform. Who's ours, maybe? What's his game? Please, you'll kill me. And a three-story drop will shatter your legs and send you to the workhouse. Difference is, you can run from him. Tomorrow! Oh, my lads are going to attack the Prime Minister's carriage on the way to Parliament. Oh, oh, oh. Perfect. You. Prime Minister, I'm your new bodyguard, Jacob Fry. I wasn't informed of any new bodyguard. Who's your commanding officer? Let the boy speak, Dizzy. 
Madam, apologies. But we've learned of a threat on your life. And the Met thought it best to move quickly. Threat? What sort of threat? <gasps> that sort. Well, if you excuse me a moment. Where'd they come from? <laughs> First, Your Excellency. Man, he will pay. 
pay for this. Thank you. What do you intend to do about Gladstone, young man? I assure you, madam, Gladstone is innocent in this. But he tried to kill my husband. Well, we'll look into Gladstone. Perhaps you can help me with another inquiry, madam. A gentleman with ties to Parliament, older, wears cavalry uniforms and has a large moustache. You seem like a rough and ready sort of fellow, Mr. Fry. <laughs> well, yes I am, actually. And are you familiar with the poorer districts of our city? Roughly. Wonderful. As it happens, I've been eager to tour the Devil's Acre. If you were to escort me, I'd be happy to assist you in your inquiry. That strikes me as a dangerous idea. Then it's settled. Come back here to Downing Street tomorrow night, eight o'clock sharp. Good day, Mr. Fry. But I... Good day, Mr. Fry! Madam? Mr. Fry? Ready to take the air? Devil's Acre should just be coming alive. I'm afraid I must cancel our engagement. The lawn is crawling with scandal-hunting journalists, and I simply cannot be seen in the company of someone so... I'll see them off. You follow along when it's clear. Yes, yes. Uh, be gentle, won't you? The press are notoriously touchy about any violence to their person. Ha ha ha. I'll barely ruffle a hair on their heads. Shh, Desmond. That's yours, if you can get those chaps over there to follow me. Right you are, sir. Blimey! Look! It's Squire Bancroft! Best lead them astray before they tear me to shreds. Mr. Bancroft! Mr. Bancroft! What's coming up next for the Prince of Wales? Will you be performing Mr. Robertson's new work? Who are you? Doing fine, girl. That's a girl. Yeah. In the car, this is Prime Minister's wife. I really must not be seen here, Mr. Fry. Steady on. Let us avoid these vultures! Who's a good horse? You are. That's the way. That's a girl. Steady on. <sighs> oh, what a rough 
place. Give me your arm, Mr. Fry. Let us see what the Devil's Acre has to offer. Your dog quite all right? Oh, Desmond's fine. He's just not over fond of strangers. Or cats.
Is your dog quite all right? Oh, Desmond's fine. He's just not over fond of strangers. Or cats. They seem to be, um... I've been married twice, Mr. Fry. I'm fully aware of what they're doing. God bless them. What sort of meat is that man selling? Best not to ask. Why? Is it something dreadful? <gasps> is it rat? I don't mean to be indelicate, given the present company. But another name for it is... Bow Wow Mutton. Here we are, the old one ton pot. So, this is a pint, is it? Huh? Remarkable. <sighs> nice doggy. <laughs> Desmond, hand over the mutt. You'll change your tune when me and my friends find you. Now then, Desmond, to get you back to your mistress, whom I've just left entirely unattended in one of London's most dangerous pubs. Well, if you never told your father how you felt about him, how was he supposed to know? I never thought of it that way. I suppose deep down we all just want to be loved. Just so. Hmm. Here, have a sweetie. Oh, Desmond and Mr. Fry, I'd like you to meet... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. John the Tosser. Charmed. I think we'd better get you home. Right you are, Mr. Fry. Come along, Desmond. <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't the dog walker. <laughs> now, let's not do something we'll regret. Oh, 
gone, girl. Who's a good horse? You are. Let's go. Walk on, girl. Well, I must thank you for a most Whoa. energetic and enlightening evening, Mr. Fry. No, thank you, madam. Perhaps now you might tell me about the man in the Hussar's uniform. Quite right. Lord Cardigan Let's go. is the gentleman you seek. Tiresome man. Always blathering on about his military adventures. Do you know where I might find him for a private conversation? I do indeed. <laughs> He's in town now, as it happens. Steady on. Campaigning against the corrupt practices bill. Perhaps you could catch him in the Palace of Westminster. Oh, do be careful. The government That's could ill right. afford another scam. I assure you, I'll be very discreet. Your stop, madam. My stop? <laughs> How delightful. Thank you. Thank you for a splendid evening, Mr. Fry. I shall be sure to speak highly of you to Dizzy. <laughs> oh, yes. Mm.